You should join her game. Does everybody have yeah, a crush I don't have on Chloe? Hours right now. Thanks though. We're Everyone. Campaign, so it'll That's social media. Like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Are we actually gonna play? Fuck it. Let's see what happens when we play. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why is that funny? Or I'm totally an elf barbarian. Let's fucking go for it. It's, it's totally, I'm totally an elf barbarian. Yes. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get. Gotta started. own the character, man. Both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, How creative! The, the Church, Blackwell, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elama, his wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius. His shirt says "Cool Story, Bro." Of Avernon. I don't know what I feel about that. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named uh, Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Yeah, they like it. They like it. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. <laughs> He's looking at me like, Stand at what the fuck? <laughs> his right, his face was just like... Ground. To your right? The fuck is this bitch saying? An enormous, ostentatious oh god. Only belong to Durgaron, the unscarred. I don't like this guy. Go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Uh, Warlord's tent, the training ground, the prison camp, or leave the game. Just fuck it and get out. No. Um. Uh. Let's let's take the prison camp. I want to free some people. Yeah, he did not know how to respond. He was like, "Really, bitch? Really, bitch?" Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. Hell yeah. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to You're looking at high school, Only a Rich. Small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you and in terror runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface. Get out of there. <laughs> the dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Okay, so, um... Attempt with bread, intimidate. Fuck it. We are going to intimidate this intimidate. bitch. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit Turn into ki Oh, you Rich. Try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Oh, now we can talk! Let's fucking go! Time to work some real magic. He worked the skill, that's the this teamwork, let's go. Skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? What do you say, dragons and pussies? Meat puppet! I wiggle my hand. 
Hey, Dragon King guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. <clears throat> Neither do I. The dragon can pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. I could make you shorter. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Whew. Dragon can cower. Ooh, you Chloe. Left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. <sighs> I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's oh, he's thing. into it. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies <sighs> Awesome. Yeah! Go so team! Uh, Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? So fucking intense, dude. As you free them... Hey, Denny, how you doing? Prisoners oh, yeah, I am very sensitive, Denny. Fear. What's next? I'm a little bitch. Uh, okay, so we did we did the prison thing. Um, wow, we're gonna go through this entire thing. We're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna leave this. Uh, I guess we can go to the, tr we have the prisoners now. We'll loot the training ground for supplies, and then we'll go to the warlord's tent. That makes a lot of sense. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the I've never ground. played D&D &D before, so this is, this is an experience for me. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field. All of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? Are we screwed? Cast Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill. Bam. You conjure up a wave of acid that washes wow. the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet. This Batman changed back into Bruce Wayne. It's off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh Massive okay. He's, he's swinging. He has he has a he's a swing. He's a swing. He's going to with a massive warhammer. Fatal cleave. I think Fatal Cleave sounds the coolest. Or Pommel Strike. Maybe Pommel Strike. I don't know what... Wait. Uh, maybe Pommel Strike. I have a day to live. Thanks, Cal. It's no problem, Rich. <laughs> I'm sorry you were going through this Dungeons and Dragons thing. Uh, Fatal Cleave? I, I think I like... No. No, let's go for Pommel Strike. Let's not do Fatal. I do a Pommel Strike. I strike his Pommel hard. <laughs> um what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah. Damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. Fuck, I should have gone for cleave. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head. Okay. Barely okay, we're still alive. We're still alive, fatal cleave. Okay. Let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with I finally saw what was in her hand. York blinks then splits open like Her hand says get to chemistry class. Fuck yeah. I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survives. Yeah, you, 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 uh -huh. 
We all make our mistakes. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. Yeah! What's next? Wise and forgiving. Uh, I guess we we'll go to the warlord's tent and probably die. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, probably gonna die. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. That's pretty cool. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. What an asshole I got indeed. This. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna wreck us. Out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Okay. Shit. He's immune to fire. All of my battle spells are fire based. Except for, you know, acid blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for clothes. Yeah, man. This is your fault. It's his fault we don't have any loot. And it's his fault we can't beat this guy. Ha! Huh, they were calling me the noob. Wrathful Rush. Annihilation Strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Ah, oh, we fucked up. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Well, we fucked. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Luck was not on our side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Come on, Mikey. Oh, no. Oh, Kappa, Mikey. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. What? Legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Oh, you fuck, Mikey! But this game is awesome! This game is awesome! My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his body. Oh, man. Stomp. 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 Oh, what the fuck? This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Ah, uh, dual shock. That, that's embarrassing. Uh, jump in front of Elamon. Dance! <laughs> um. Dancing would be kind of. I, I don't want to do it. I feel like I should ju jump in front of Elamon. Let, let's face it, encouragement won't do much. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean. Thanks, Calamastia. Damn it, Mikey! Get with the program! Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as oh, he pales you on his blade. Oh, we fucked. You high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. Where are you? That was you fun, though. Feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Ah, oh, dude, swing for his head. Can I do that? I feel like. If I go for head, I'll miss. But if if I swing for the swing for the arm with the bracer, fuck. I bring my axe down onto his arm, the one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost. Let's dead. go. I almost went for head there. Twenty. Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. Oh fuck yes! Yeah. Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Yeah, let's go. Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear. Come back. Flies from your hands. Come back, man. Let's go. Incinerating him. Oh, I love it. From the inside out. 
Damn, Elamon. Oh man, this game is turning me into a D&D player. It's making me want to play D&D. I'm dead, but... I actually feel sad. Ah. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. Exactly. Died a hero. That was fun. Died a hero. Also, what's up, Shadows? How you doing, man? Mikey's got serious drawing skills. He does. That's pretty sick. Glad you enjoyed it. Chloe. I I kind of want to play real yeah. D and D. <laughs> with you anytime. Man, why can't why why didn't why didn't I why didn't I try playing with this click in college? Game, nerds. Oh man, that was pretty cool. Dude, I've never I've never played D and D before. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. I've literally Enjoy. never played D and D before. Hold on, I need to switch controllers. Whoopsies. I'm I'm serious, guys. I legitimately I legitimately uh want to play D and D. Um, but yeah, I ha I just had to switch controllers. Uh, can you guys hear? I hope the game is still playing sound. If it isn't anymore, please do tell me. All right. We got the DVD. Time to finally, after hours of of not going to class, let's get to class. Let's get to class. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North, a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Aww. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Uh, take it elsewhere. You're both losers. Take it elsewhere. You're both losers. Take it elsewhere. Ah, uh, you bo uh. Take it elsewhere, you're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid did your dead be bad? <gasps> oh my get? god! Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard. When your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. No. Stop it. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Can I stop this? Chloe, do something. Can I do something? Yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want to step in. I kind of want to help. I kind of want to help Nathan here. I kind of really want to help Nathan here. Uh, I'm good, Shadows. I'm good. did you just say to me? I, I'm. Okay, this is getting intense now. Uh, I said idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Oh my Don't God. <clears throat> You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Um Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most Yeah, brat. honestly. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Oh man. Uh You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. <laughs> <laughs> you want peace in it? <laughs> Oh, piece of romance, piece of cake. No thanks. I don't want a piece of that. I just want to. Oh, uh, he he got that one. Fuck, 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 fuck. Do you really think I'm gonna let you talk to me like that? Um, think. Think. That's a fancy word for you, Drew. Oh. With it. Take it in your ass, Drew. Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned me. Mm. The fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh! Mm. Go, Samantha. Inspiring the younger generation. 
Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Ooh, that was good. Oh, that felt so cool. Oh, man. He just is there. Yeah, Nathan's still a dick, but... He's still just a troubled child. He, he needs help. He really does need help, and it sucks. Um, yeah, Shadows, you left your PS4 on, didn't you? <laughs> I saw your, 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 your PS4 has been stuck on the Call of Duty menu. At least that's what it said on my PSN. Okay, let's get to class. We probably missed two classes already. <laughs> Where the fuck was Skip? Probably watching at a distance. Oh, good. You're here. Okay, so Rachel just grabbed her hand. Oh my god. So what we don't really know is, do they end up in having some sort of romance? That's another thing we don't know. I, I, I'm really curious to see if that actually does happen. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. <laughs> Admired yes. Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Jew's not here, so... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Damn. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. I ship it. getting as surreal as last night. Did she just wink at me? Looking good, Rach. Very cool. She just winked at Chloe. Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? She just winked, because yo. I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Mr. Keen is not gonna have any of this shit. He's really not. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or... Has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? What do we say here? Oh my god. Wait. Is Miranda an idiot? Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she? 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Mm. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later. Oh guys. man, Beast, you are so right. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. You are so right, Beast. I think I looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, I think I found my motivation in this game. <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I think I, I found my motivation you. in this game. I think I found my okay. motivation in this game. So, I think I found my motivation in this game. Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. I think I just found my motivation in this game. Uh, yeah, sure. I didn't think I'd feel things for Rachel, honestly. Given that I know what happens okay. to her uh, in the end. Get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like... Rachel looks so happy here. Aww. Yeah. 
No, because that's the thing that was lacking, Noda. Like, there's Rachel's bell. Cause, look, look. Let me let me just quickly talk about this for a sec. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel. Like, let me just really quickly talk about this. Also, shadows. I know, but you let you you left your you left your so you did leave your PlayStation on. Uh, that's what that I did see that I did see that right. <laughs> um, but yeah, Noda. Like, um. What I was worried about was, will I be able to be emotionally invested in this game knowing what happens in the end? Like, I know what happens to Chloe. Well, you know what happens to Rachel, right? I guess this game's purpose is to, like, build up the relationship so that we know why Chloe losing Rachel was such a big deal. And if this game pulls it off, holy shit. Especially knowing what happens, that, that would be a big deal if they can, if they can pull that off. Like, pull off you feeling for someone even though you know what happens to them in the end? Let's talk, uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. That was a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Um, just this belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Getting attacked was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. <laughs> Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? These both sound like really good answers. These, hmm. these, these both sound like really, really good answers. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. Or has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Uh, mm? ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Great idea, or no, no, no way. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. I got nothing to say to that. Okay. Okay, game. You're, you're finally hooking me into this. Well, to be fair, I was getting pretty hooked with the uh, back talk uh, options. I thought those were really fun. So... You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? No, no fuck that. Ride the train. We're gonna go rogue. We're doing it right. What the hell am I getting into here? Oh man. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Wow, Seattle. Sure. Damn you, Max Caulfield! Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Yeah, same, Noda. Like, I was worried about that mechanic. Like, really? Rachel really? wants me to pull up a chair. Hold on. What is this?